Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting tutorial on Assign Graphics. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you step by step how you create this uh, keychain logo in Pixel App using your smartphone. The link to all the image you'll be using will be in the video description. So after you open your pixel app, so the first thing you are going to do is to delete this new text. After you delete the new text, uh, you go to this, uh, you go to this object layer, then you import uh, this shape. This is the shape you are going to import. The shape, the link to this shape will be in the video description. And with upcoming video, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of shape. So any image, any material I'm using in the in the video, the link will be in the video description. And I promise you this link it will be ad free link so don't bother uh, worrying yourself that it's an ad free link so you centralize this shape then you enable color you change the color to a dark color a uh, black color so that depends on what you want to do sure. but for me I always use black color because anyhow it is I'm going to delete some part of the color so the next thing you're going to do you go to text you go to insert text I'm designing this keychain I'm designing this keychain for a tribute to DMS. Ah, may so rest in peace. It's a legend. So, so the, first of all, you go to uh, text. You insert your text. So, and you watch carefully the text. The way I insert my text and how I'm going to use it. And the font you are going to use for this text text will be Aman Wrestler. It's a default font in Pixel Lab. So, so my recent font let me i'm using it now but let me just check on the default font in pixel lab when you scroll through you see it my address like the default font in pixel lab so all the font i'm going to be using in the video description is they are our default font in pixel lab just that in case you need them you can follow up the name so now you centralize your go to relative position and centralize your text and we use the size of the text to at least 25 to 24 depend on what you want to edit and move your text that way so the next thing you're going to do you go to curve i bend in then on curve there you see bending there and you increase the bending percentage to 20 percent that is for the top side what you are going to do next you will duplicate this text you're going to make a copy of this text and you bring it down again to the downside of the shape again to go back to you centralize it with your relative position then the next thing you'll do not, ro uh, not rotate curve you go back to curve again then on curve you you, you uh, adjust the blending to uh, 20 minus 20 percent so since the top one is 20 percent now the down one should be minus 20 percent so that we'll have the same outcome from the opposite side uh, you use your movement button to set the text well next thing you go, to, you go to new text now and this new text this is what you're going to put since from the beginning of the video I say that the keychain logo is in respect to the tribute of uh, DMS so we're going to use or you can use any name whatever name you want but I it was in my plan to create this to recreate this video for you guys again but I just decided to choose something that we use to create the video so uh, the font I'm going to be using is called America so I hope you saw it when I selected it here. So America, it's a different font in Pixel Lab also. So you adjust your text spacing, that is your letter spacing. Now when you come to spacing, you see letter and word. So you make sure you are on letter spacing. Centralize your text and increase the size of the text. So at least 105 or 106 or 100 there about. Come to relative position, you centralize it. You see how I'm doing it. The next thing you want to do, you just go to movement button, then you make a little adjustment that depends on what you want to do and how you want your keychain uh, text uh, to look like in pixel lab so next thing now you will go to shape inside this cycle shape we are going to reduce the size of this cycle shape, shape uh, adjust the size you see how it is there next thing you go to relative position you make sure you send it to the middle like the middle height of the uh, shape then you reduce the size again go to maintain ratio you reduce the size that is the relative size 
you are just play with the size a little bit I try to reduce the size of that circle shape then you go to position and then you move it to that place you see you are seeing me placing it on the screen but if you want to use another shape you depend on the shape you want to use but for the purpose of the tutorial for the purpose of the knowledge I'm giving to you you can watch carefully and do the same thing now you go to the shape you insert a star shape again as for the star that was on the star so you name me the star on a keychain and we'll be designing for him with pixel lab using your smartphone so you adjust your star like that oh you see uh, that is a mistake there that is why i always see you always remember to lock your layer so whenever you're working whenever you're through with any of the object or text or the layer you're working on you lock it that you only you only unlock the one you want to make adjustment to so now you adjust your style a little bit and you move it and position it the way you see me doing it on the screen don't forget to subscribe to assign graphics for more assign tutorial like this more assign tutorial will be coming up on packing design short while from now you see exciting tutorial on advert package design and uh, the advert banner for package designs and other stuff more tutorial will be coming up so you move it you ad adjust the star shape like that the next thing you want to do now is to go to layer you mark all the layer when i mean all all the layer then you make them together you see how it is now you make the layer together you see everything is made together centralize it with your relative position next thing you go to do you go to a background then you change the background image when you, when you go to background you see is the image the image all the image i'll be using will be in the video description now oh, forget the notification as an error message on the screen so you change the background then you select the text the the, the logo you design again and you enable uh, erase color you discover that automatically the white color will delete so you go to smooth edge you adjust your smooth edge to at least two or one and you go to tolerance Take it to 15, 16, or 14. So adjust it so that the white side of any the white color, any white color there will be removed appropriately. Now you go to layer and make a duplicate of the logo. You hide one of the duplicate, then you make them together. Now you have after making them together, it's called that it has become a full object now. You must do that. If you don't do that, and you just go to insert texture. I am telling you the texture will not show. So from there you go to texture and the texture the link to the video the link to the image the texture image will be in the video description also. Then you enable that and maintain ratio. Make sure the scale is on 100 percent then you enable maintain ratio. You okay it. The next thing you do now is uh you go to uh 3D then on the 3D you are going to adjust the depth to at least 4 to 5 depth should be at least 4 or 5 you ok it you come to 3D rotate and you adjust your X and the Y axis so you watch carefully the way you see me doing it on the screen so you adjust it to your own test that is why you see I can't give you a particular degree where you adjust your x axis and y axis of your 3d rotate too. so you adjust it to your test so you adjust it very well like mine i think i'll leave mine on 26 and 11 and minus 11 degree s axis is plus 26 and y 11 degree then you can do your manual rotate next thing you go to a uh, shadow you play with your shadow you adjust the blur radius of your shadow to zero then the offset one or two you, you make them like that you adjust the entire logo again that adjusting the entire logo you see how it is now next thing we are going to do on the pixel lab whenever you're working like this, you discover that you will not get a clear look but i promise you when you save your work you see a clear look now you insert this uh, key chain image all image will be in the all image link will be in the video description no ad no ad promise you you won't see ad so you place that uh, keychain at that port where you where you play uh, that that uh, 
circle shape you inserted here you place it right at that place there on your own it might be any angle you want but for the purpose of the tutorial we tell you where i'm placing mine so you adjust you make necessary adjustment you move it the way you see me doing it on the screen you can turn it to any angle you want but for the purpose of the tutorial and for what and for the way i want it to look like so this is how it is now you see how it is now we have gotten the key chain logo next thing we'll do we'll save our work so that you see, we'll see how it is you save your work save as image you dimension you click on dimension you click ultra make sure you save your image as, as ultra mode so that you'll be able to see now after you save it this is how it will look like it's a key chain a logo design uh, in pixel lab 